Hey guys, this is going to be a quick little video of me basically refurbishing this little uh, 75 watt AT power supply that I've got here. I like using this for bench work and stuff, but I did notice in my last uh, couple videos that the fan on this guy's a little loud. I went ahead and picked up a 60 millimeter Noctua fan to replace the stock one that I've got in here. And I went ahead and ordered from Mauser some capacitors to recap this guy. So what I'm going to do here is take this guy apart and show you my process for recapping one of these guys. And uh, I guess first thing we're going to do, let's get it taken apart. So what I'm using here is my trusty old Radio Shack manual desoldering iron. This desoldering iron has seen quite a few joints. Uh, it's a manual operating unit with, you know, the squeeze ball on it. So all you do is you take it, you squeeze the ball down, put it on the solder joint, wait for the solder to melt, and let the ball go. And it's as simple as that. So simple I haven't even bothered to buy a new one. The uh, process here is pretty easy. Just suck the solder off. Most of the caps just fall right out. Um, I've gone ahead and labeled all these and everything. I know exactly where my new capacitors are supposed to go. Uh, if you haven't done that, maybe replace them one at a time. All right, we got our pretty new red caps installed here. I tend to go with these Worth electronic caps. Um, in 20 years, I'm not going to remember that I've recapped this. So these red caps help me keep track of that. All of my, uh, like my classic, my color classic, uh, all these machines and power supplies that I've redone, I've redone using these caps. The bulk electrolytic on the input, eh, that one tends to not be, only because Worth doesn't cover some of those. Got my new Noctua fan installed here, some Vibratite to keep it from coming loose here, and uh, decided to go with the low noise adapter. After playing around with it a little bit, this grill here makes the fan a little bit noisy so the low noise adapter takes care of a lot of that since i'm going to be using this a lot for you know films in the future wanted to make sure it was nice and quiet so yeah now it's just time to reassemble all right new caps new fan nice and quiet running here we've got all of our voltages like we expect um this sx40 is running great on this power supply this SX40 is not going to be an SX40 long. Uh, I bought a SLC33 486 chip. I'm going to be desoldering it off this motherboard and putting a new one on there soon. So look out for that video. And that's all I have for you. Merry Christmas. Have a nice day.